Welcome back to the Fishing Doctor's Adventures. We're control depth angling with our downriggers today on Wood Lake, BC, fishing for kokanee. My dad is letting one down. If you're gonna do this, you need a downrigger so that you know exactly where your lure is going to the depth. That's why we call it controlled depth. You actually set the depth of the cannonball that takes your line down. You see, there's that little clip by Scotty. It's got rubber uh, clips on it to put your line in. And you hook it onto the downrigger like that. And then when you're ready, you got your line about 15 to 20 feet out behind the cannonball. You let it down slowly so things don't get tangled up. And that's what we're doing and we found the magic depth for us today is 40 feet so we keep putting it down around there. Okay, let's get fishing and see how it goes. The cold is a high. Oh, you got one, Dad. You got one. You got one. You got one. You got one. Yeah. Hooked up. Is he still on there? Yeah, he's still on there. Yeah, I'll slow it down. Release it off the downrigger. No, you gotta hold on to the reel. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. He's still there. He's still there. Pull. Yeah, really, really, really fast. Is he gone? Oh, I think he's still there. I think. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Got the net. Oh, he's there already. Oh, I don't have it extended. Oh, kokanee on Wood Lake. Okay, here you go. There's a coke. One kokanee down. Of our four person limit. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. That's uh, what we're doing today on the downrigger, 40 feet down. Gulp. Watermelon apex. another one on. So hopefully we can land them. Take it easy with these guys. They got soft mouths. They do lots of jerking and flipping. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? I want to keep moving. Oh, it they won't stop drifting. It's on the surface there. Oh, boy. Oh, it's coming. Skating them in. There we go. There we go. We're in the boat. We got him. Felt bigger, but it's about the same size. He's like 13 inches. They're about 12 to 14 inches this spring. That's what they're. That's what they're like. There's maybe some that are a bit bigger, but you got some nice fillets off those. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's how I release them off the downrigger. Oh, I got one too. Or no, yours. He's coming fast. Easy thing. He's still there. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. We're going to net him with the short net. Oh, it's a, it's a tiny one. Well, you look at him. See what you think. Variation of speed is key to catch these fish. And you can do that two ways. Change your throttle speed, fast or slower. Usually in between 1.5 and 2 miles an hour is best. And then also by making turns. Uh, slow S turns, it slows the inside rod and speeds the outside rod. You can do that by staying at the same speed. Or some people just make big circles, right? And then one of your rods is going faster and the inside one's going slower. That way you have variation in speed as you're trolling. Okay, fish on. You go that way, you feel the wind. Yeah. 
See, and how you tell you got a fish on is the end starts jerking. No, Dad, you're doing it wrong. Reel down and pop it loose. How tight are you putting it in the down again? Hey, don't lose it. You lost him? No. I think he's gone. Oh, he's on there. You sure? Yeah. I don't see it jerking at all. He's on there. No. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah, a tiny one. Oh man, that's a tiny one. Oh, that's a tiny one, Dad. Oh, you're catching the tiny ones. Well, it's really whipping up here. We got four. We got our limit of kokanee. So we're going to head back in the wind before we get blown off the lake. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully I'll make some videos one of these days for you to keep on watching. Anyways, if you want to catch Kokanee, Wood Lake is a great lake near Vernon and uh, Kelowna. Very easy to catch them today. We are hitting them anywhere from 30 to 47 feet down on the downriggers using little apex uh, lures, about the 1.5 inch I think it is. And we put a little bit of gulp, uh, pink gulp, uh, maggots on there and a little bit of this Mike's Lunker lotion in the krill scent really seems to make a difference try that out next time you're on the water and good luck keep on fishing